<clears throat> hey guys so today I'm going to show you how to replace a power switch on a shark professional rotator pro it's uh, model number NV 500 so if you have one of these and it does not turn on probably a good chance it is a switch issue if it does turn if it doesn't turn on but the light bulbs the lights headlights turn on then you likely have a bad motor. So to start, you wanna strip this down. So pull the lift away off to remove this. And then strip down the uh, one release, hit the one release, take the one and handle off. The dirt cup off. Make sure the vacuum's unplugged. Now for this, to get access into your power switch here, you're going to, you're gonna need uh, one special tool potentially. This is a security uh, Torx, it's a T20, and it's got the little hole in it, so basically that's Shark's way of telling you that they don't want you to get into it. So, you're going to start by taking out, this one has actually a mix of uh, Phillips and security torque. So I'm going to take the Phillips heads out first. So you got two at the top, at least this one does. Yours might have different screws in different areas. Then you have just two at the bottom. And then two more Phillips. And by the way, it's just these two. Okay. Two more Phillips here at the top. And then you gotta switch over to the security Torx to take out a couple more. Two here. And then around back you have two more. Okay, and at that point what you're going to do is you can uh, use a flat blade and just start kind of working around. And uh, there's a clip I think right at the top here, so if you get a flat blade in there yeah, there's a clip right there, so uh, once you get that top clip loose, then uh, it, comes, it comes out pretty easily. Okay, so now it opens up here and it just kind of folds out, and then you can see you have the, the kind of the guts inside of here. And here's where, uh, here's what you probably might see. Um, so let me get... Let me get this taken out. And one thing that you need to do is, uh, this is a little secret here, is you're gonna take out this tool clip. It's just a small Phillips screw. And then this slides out. And you can wiggle it as you're sliding it out that way. And then that exposes the screw that keeps the switch uh, assembly mounted in place. And that is a small screw. Okay, so now we can actually pull this out. Um, and then what you're gonna do, you have two, uh, two screws, and you can see it's burned. So this switch, this switch failed. So you're gonna have two screws to pull out. Okay, and then um, 
these little terminals have clips on them so you kind of have to grab them pretty firmly with some they don't just pull out easily because there's a little clip so you have to grab them pretty firmly so you can see this switch here is has failed now I don't actually have this exact shark switch um, I have a switch that's exactly the same from a different manufacturer so that's the one uh, that I'm installing and uh, if you have trouble finding one of these switches just just hit me up in the comments and I can work out a way to get you one of these so I got my new switch here and I'm gonna slide it in place and then reattach my terminals okay now at that point um, I always will test it so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in okay so you want to do that you know if you're gonna spend all the time to take it apart and put it together you don't want to find out it didn't fix your problem um, after getting it all back put together so put your switch in attach it test it and then get your screws put back in now getting it back together is the challenge that's the hardest part about any type of repair really is putting it back together so it works properly uh, and also the key uh, what I try to do is uh, to take something apart and put it back together so that no one could tell I took it apart and that's down as fine as the details of using all the right screws exactly where they go all right so I'm gonna slide this in place and you can see there is uh, this part right here is gonna rest right in here and then you have this little this is what that little screw goes into and that goes right into this hole right here so you're gonna work it in from the top here and then um, one thing that might be giving you a problem is this this wiring sticking out on the side you can tuck it down in there and then slide it in place okay and there it go there it went it just it just moved into place um, some of that is the wiring here that's kind of catching um, so now it's in place and then you can go ahead and put your screw back in right here okay now make sure that your wiring is is routed um, you can see grooves here right here this is where the wiring will set there's little there's areas that are intended for the wiring to stay and then there's a little hook right here so keep an eye on all of those little areas now um, the key to getting this back together is um, watching these two screw screw posts making sure they're lining up here and then there's a little clip right down here and I'll show you that at a different angle but what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of start you're gonna start feeding it in there and from the bottom and then just kind of work it in you have to line, make sure the posts are lining up okay you kind of have to go back and forth and just very lightly okay and I got the top now I got the top clipped in okay so you can look you can look closely you can see all your seams should be perfect now the, the, the part that you'll be fooled by is where you got to see this piece here Okay, this piece here is going to uh, feed right down in here. So I'm going to try to do it with the camera so you can see it. So I've got my hand um, pushing this way, and then I'm going to be pushing this clip. Okay, and you see that popped in. All right, and now everything is good except for right here so we got to figure out um, 
Okay, so just moving th some things around gets uh, everything lined up. And then just look all the way around. Make sure you got nice, perfect seams. Okay, and we do. So now we can put our screws back in. I'm gonna start with the security Torx. And uh, Ace Hardware has bits like this uh, that I've found. Any hardware, you know, hardware store, a specialty hardware store will have something like that on hand usually. So, or you can order them online. Okay, so put your screws back in and try not to over tighten them. This, this is actually set to a specific torque rating so it doesn't over torque. Going into plastic parts. Um, okay, switch over to my Phillips bit. And then don't forget to get your little tool clip slid back on. Okay, you get your screw back in there. And then almost done. And then two at the bottom. Okay, and then put everything back together. I do this for a living, guys, and if this was valuable to you, if this saved you some money, I'm always appreciative of anybody throwing me a couple bucks uh, it, through PayPal. So I'll leave that link in the description. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.